Hello everyone, it's Imran here. Welcome back to another video. So, I'm going to officially react to the newest video that Carson's Video Workshop uploaded two days ago. And this one is called The Boat Train. So, yeah, I wasn't really expecting Carson to get through, get another video out so quickly. But basically from the description, there was a strike going on. He was He got ahead of schedule and has had another, another video waiting so yeah I, yeah the last video that i reacted to from carson's video workshop was the disturbing the piece my disturbing my reaction to disturbing the piece which we could percy how the murder was the main character so we want to go check that out It'll be available on the top right hand corner of your screen right there my reaction to that um yeah like i said um carson has actually been through a bit of a bit of a difficult phase so far. His channel actually got struck, hit with a strike. It did, which meant he couldn't upload videos for a week. And I'm, I was like, it was basically a video called Little Blue Hell. And someone actually put it very well up on Twitter that it's like kind of setting a very dangerous present for mature Thomas videos. That if that video gets, if that mature Thomas video gets marked for kids there's a high chance that it may also be struck down because, of course, the content in that is not really appropriate for kids. So it's kind of such a dangerous present. But it is a story centered around Carson's OC character, Richard the Southern Engine. So for those of you who don't know who Richard is, I should, I refer you to Carson's channel and his Richard the New Engine saga so you know who Richard is. But Rich is one of my favorite OC characters, and I love I love seeing him paired up with Thomas. That's all I'm gonna say. So yeah, can't wait wait to see this video. I mean I can't believe I'm reacting to another video from Carson's channel this soon when I think it was only a week or two ago that I did my reaction to disturbing the piece. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Link to the video I'm reacting to in the description down below as always. So without further ado, let's just get straight into this. The boat train. Richard was feeling down in the dumps. What's wrong? asked Thomas kindly. Well, I don't want to seem ungrateful, said Richard. Oh, but I do miss the old days. The Southern Railway was my home. Oh, I the can't help but miss it at times. Thomas understood. I. You know, so many videos I've seen I've seen from different channels lately have been so obsessed with. You know, Thomas's this Thomas model right here. I'm going to say it now. Carson, if you're watching this, I am seeing a lot of people getting this Thomas model off your Patreon. If you can, please, please make this Thomas model popular because I'm pretty sure this is the best. Everyone can agree that this is the best trains model of Thomas that anyone has ever seen. And I have seen lots of other channels like Suddery Station Master and Fizzled Firebox use this model in their videos because of the different kind of faces that Thomas uses. Please make that. I feel like that sometimes, but I wasn't on the mainland for as long as you were. Maybe you should speak to the fat controller. I'm sure he'd understand. But Richard didn't need to. He's watching the fat the controller had already noticed, and one day he went to visit Stepney, the Bluebell engine. Stepney? Oh, I wasn't expecting Stephanie to be in this. I have a steam what? locomotive of great interest, he smiled. His name is Richard, and I would very much like for you to meet him. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir, being Stepney. I'm sure you'll have a lot in common. He is an ex-Southern Railway engine, too. Stepney was thrilled. Well, I wasn't expecting this to be a Stepney story. He set off early the next morning. Richard awoke at the sheds to find Duck and Thomas giddy with excitement. Oh, you two are up early, said oh. Richard. The fat controller has got a surprise for you, grinned Duck. Oh, for me? Oh, oh nice. Oh, whoa, 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 what is it? Who is it, you mean? chuckled Thomas. Oh, Richard was puzzled. Definitely. But he wouldn't be for long. The signal dropped and from far away an engine whistled. Here he comes, yelled Duck. That, that, oh, I love Thomas's. Stepney there he is, there's Stepney. 
The engines whistled and cheered. This abruptly woke Gordon up oh. and was most annoyed. But the tank engines didn't care one bit. Stephanie oh, stopped at Gordon. the turntable. He looked over to Richard. Hello, he peeped. Richard was aghast. Oh, you're, you're, you're Stephanie. Oh, that's me. Oh, the, 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 the bluebell engine. Oh, that's me. The, the, from the from the bluebell railway. <laughs> that's me again, laughed oh, Stephanie. Wow. Oh, I yeah, can't look how it. You're Richard only is. the most famous tank engine in the world. Oh, 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 oh sorry, Thomas. Uh, uh, I mean, one of the most famous tank engines in the world. Oh, I do want to insult kind of Thomas to right say so. I've heard many stories about you, Richard. I must say, you certainly left your mark here on Sodor. Richard was most flattered. As the engines were prepared for a day's work, they talked and laughed. Mm -hmm. Stephanie and Richard reminisced about the old days of the Southern Railway. Oh, I'm they're both you don't pull the boat train, observed Stephanie. Your class were excellent at it. Well, I didn't realise we had one, said Richard. He even needed him, oh, yes. Bear pulls it mostly. Maybe you should give it a try, encouraged Duck. Oh, no, no, oh, I can't. Uh, oh, those days are long past me now. And so they should be, grumbled Gordon. The boat train is not an express anymore. It has been demoted to a stopping service. If it was of great significance, they would have given it There's to me. There's Gordon being his usual snooty Just self. Just because you don't pull the train doesn't mean it's not important, Huff Thomas. Boat trains were the most prestigious trains in the South. They were always luxurious and were guaranteed connections with transatlantic liners, explained Stepney. Oh, Richard, that's you very must have pulled some in your time. Well, 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 well I did, you. Oh, they were lovely fast runs. Oh, you could be late. Oh, well, I could fly at times. Wow, I, I like out. Richard in his original chain scheme. So that really is cool. See? It really was a goal. Hey, look, there's Class 40 right there. An age of I must say, Carson, I love Richard's paint scheme right there. His southern paint scheme looks really cool. It's probably Richard. I reckon you've still got it, said Stepney. Huh. Well, whatever you think he's got, he hasn't. If he had, he'd be used on the express, and since he isn't, then what he's got isn't there. Understand, grunted Gordon. Richard wasn't sure if he did. Honestly, my dear Richard, gossiping with tank engines, they're filling your smoke box with silly ideas. And Gordon huffed lordly away. Oh, Thomas and they did not take it kindly right there. Stephanie was put to work along the branch lines. Everyone was pleased to see him. But even, even though Stephanie was having a lovely time, he couldn't stop thinking about what Gordon had said. Richard has still got it, he puffed to himself. Yep, Gordon sure needs to see he has. that. Yep, he has to see that. As luck would have it, that afternoon Stephanie was at the junction just as Bear arrived with the boat train. He told Bear all about Gordon and Richard. Hey, look, Bear! Well, Bear admitted, I don't really enjoy all in the boat train at all. All that stopping and starting is rather tedious. I much prefer good long runs. That's... I, I must say, although I'm not... I kind of prefer the other Bear model, this one's actually not too bad either, Would Bear. you mind swapping with Richard, asked Stepney? You could take his goods while he takes the boat train. Well, that's fine with me, smiled Bear. As long as the Fat Controller agrees. The Fat Controller did agree, and all was arranged for the next day. Oh. This is going to be exciting. News quickly spread around the yard. Reliving the past, eh, Richard? <laughs> How adorable. Oh, it is, isn't it? replied Richard sweetly. He's patronising you. Take no notice, grumbled Duck. I think, Gordon, you'll be pleasantly surprised, said Stepney. Mm -hmm. I'll be the judge of that, Gordon remarked, and he huffed away to collect his express. Oh, 
This is going to be good. Come on, Richard, show Gordon. A ferry leaves the harbour at the end of the line twice daily. It carries passengers, cars, lorries and freight. It sails to places such as Ireland, Scotland and the Isle of Man. The boat Ireland, train Scotland. used to be a non-stop express from the mainland and would serve okay. much larger ships sailing to faraway destinations. But now it was much slower, stopping at certain stations to pick up passengers along the way. Even though the train oh. had long lost its prestigious status, it always had to run to time. The to ferry would dogs. wait for no one. There oh, that's, all... a, that, that's actually pretty cool it is, of how you've put Carson's Don Brendan docks. Oh, that's pretty always cool, but I did that can break. He had performed reliably, but in recent years, grew tired of the service. Richard collected his coaches and set off with the boat train. He was very excited. Oh, we'll have a good run. I'll make sure of that, he called confidently. Come on, Richard, you can do it. Richard was as good as his word. He picked up speed and hurried along the main line. At each station he stopped at, he quickly collected his passengers. Oh, get in quickly, please. Oh, we don't want to miss your boat, he announced. They did so, and Richard would rapidly accelerate out of the station. Oh, maybe that's not a good the idea. The driver and fireman, through no encouragement of their own, were surprised at how fast Richard was moving. We'll be ahead of time at this rate, noted the driver. Like the Kelswood Road with the Sodor Mail Depot in the background. Meanwhile, Gordon was racing along the main line with the express. Ahead, he could see Richard picking up passengers at a station. That's Watch strong, this, he boasted to himself. Hurry, 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 he puffed importantly. But just as Gordon was about to overtake Richard, he started thunderously from the station. Gordon gloated as he glided past, but the last coach of his train had barely passed Richard when suddenly Richard was matching Gordon's speed. Really? Within no oh my time, goodness. Richard began to undertake the train. What on earth? exclaimed Gordon. Come on, come on, come on, boat train coming through! And Richard flew by. He can't do that, that's the slow line, cried Gordon. After him, Gordon, shouted his driver. We can't have him show you up like this. Even Gordon's through. chase, but couldn't catch up. Richard had unwittingly outpaced the express. Oh, that is something Look, I wasn't expecting the right there. He's slowing down to stop at a station. We've got him now, old boy, the driver cheered. Richard stopped happily at the station. That's Maron. Gordon rocketed past. Anyone would think he was pulling the express, snorted Gordon angrily. Someone did think he was pulling the express. The signalman slowed the express and switched Gordon onto the slow line. The distant signal warned of a red signal ahead. What's going on? huffed Gordon. Yeah, that's what I would like to know. Stepney was shunting trucks in the yard at Edwards Station when Gordon clanked in. Down he came Gordon's to an hill. incredulous halt at the platform. Soon, they heard a long, loud whistle. Oh, I love the soundtrack. With headlamps swaying and steam blowing, Richard roared through the station, gathered speed and disappeared. <laughs> Told you he still got it, laughed Stephanie. Yep. Gordon was speechless. Oh, look at Gordon's face. The boat train arrived at the harbour ahead of schedule. Oh, I hope Richard doesn't get in trouble. That evening, the story had arrived back at the sheds before Gordon. Hmm, I don't know, said a voice. Whatever you think he's got, he hasn't. If he had, yeah. he'd be used on the express, and since he isn't, then what he's got isn't there. Do you agree? Gordon wasn't sure who the voice belonged to. 
so decided to remain respectfully silent. Yep. Richard now shares the boat train with Bear. Due to his impressive timings, the boat train has been upgraded to express status once again, much to the delight right. of both engines. But the fat controller has warned Richard not to undertake on the slow line. It causes an operational nightmare for the signalman. Because of this, there is no chance of Gordon being bypassed by Richard. But if any one of the tank engines happens to bring that topic up in conversation oh. again, Gordon seemingly manages to disappear without a trace. Yeah, who could really blame him? <laughs> Is that it? Wow, that was... That was definitely a good... That was a very, very, very good story. I, I really thoroughly enjoyed that. Oh my goodness, so Richard kind of showed up Gordon in a way. And the boat train has now been updated to express status again. Although Richard did get a bit of a excuse me, he did get a bit of a telling off by the fat controller for, for speeding along the main line. For speeding along the slower main line he did. But aside from that, oh and now Gordon is getting teased by that. Oh my goodness, that is. And um, the, 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 I feel bad for the poor signal went because he literally thought that Richard was pulling an express style train. So, yeah, that is that was totally unexpected right there. I mean, I love the fact I was not expecting Stephanie to make an appearance. You know, we had such good characters. We had Thomas, Duck with their roles. We had obviously we had Richard and Gordon. We had Stephanie. Look what we even had a role from Bear. We had a role from Bear as well. That was really a really, really enjoyable video story right there. Possibly my fave. Probably is it probably prob is it better than disturbing the peace? Maybe it's on the same levels as disturbing the peace, but Carson once again, great job by job of you making another great video. I'm so happy that you're a subscriber of my channel and I'm so happy that I get to react to your video. So yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. Can't wait to see what other videos you have in store for us. And I can't wait for con the conclusion of Series 1 on the video workshop. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button for me. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this fan-made story I reacted to. And also let me know in the comments down below and what other videos you want me to react to next. Follow me on Instagram. Link to that will be in the description down below. Share this video. Subscribe if you're new here. Ring that bell to get notified for when I upload new videos or when I post on the community tab. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!